Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll give you the complete guide for Outlook Calendar Permission Levels. First, we'll explain what the different permission levels are. Then we'll show you how to change the permissions in the web version. And finally, we'll change the permissions in the desktop version. In Outlook, you can share your calendar with others, and allow other people to access your calendar too. There are six permission levels for calendar sharing. Not shared means you can't see or interact with any events in their calendar. View when I'm busy means you can see when they're available, but you can't see any of their events. View titles and locations means you can view events in their calendar, but only the title and location. View all details means you can access additional information, such as attendees and descriptions. Edit means you can modify the events in their calendar, but this only works with calendars they created. And being a delegate allows you to edit their events, but also schedule meetings and respond to meeting requests on their behalf. But as a delegate, you can only schedule meetings on their primary calendar. In the web version of Outlook, you can share your calendars from the ribbon, or from the left menu. To view the left menu, click the menu icon in the top left. Then go down to your calendars and click the three dots next to the calendar you want to share. And select sharing and permissions from the pop-up menu. To share your calendar from the ribbon, simply click the share button and select the calendar you want to share. Here, you can see that we're sharing our calendar with everyone in the organization. The general permission allows everyone to see whether I'm busy or available, but you can change it to whatever you like. You may notice that you can't set the organization to be a delegate. But while you can set specific people as delegates, you don't have the option to not share. To share your calendar, type a name into the text box and select them from the dropdown. Then select a permission level from the dropdown. And then hit the share button. They should appear in the list below, where you can modify or remove their permissions. If you want to add a delegate, you can select who receives the meeting responses and invitations. That could be the delegate only, or the delegate, while you receive a copy. That means you're notified by email, but only the delegate can accept or decline the invitation. You can also select both you and the delegate, which means you can both accept or decline email invitations. Finally, hit the checkbox below if you want to allow the delegate to view private events. In the Windows desktop version of Outlook, head down to your calendars in the left menu. Then right-click the calendar you want to share. And select Sharing Permissions from the pop-up menu. You can also click the Home tab at the top. Then head across and click the three dots, or hit Share Calendar if you're viewing the full ribbon. The Calendar Properties dialog box will now open. There, you can add someone to share with, or modify and remove existing permissions. Click the Add button, and your address book will open. Search for someone to share your calendar with. Then click Add. Then hit OK. Now select a permission and hit OK or Apply. In the Mac desktop version of Outlook, head down to your calendars in the left menu. Then click the three dots next to the calendar you want to share, and select Sharing Permissions from the pop-up menu. Click an existing permission if you want to change it. To add a new permission, click the plus icon. Then enter the name of whoever you want to share with at the top, and select their name below. Now click the select box next to permissions, and choose a permission level. Then, hit the add button. To remove someone's permission, simply select them, and then click the minus icon. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.